Okay folks, we're back once again for our video tutorials about Kotobi Author application. So this is part 3 of our video and this time we're going to utilize the question functional sets. So first thing first, I would advise to put your questions on a separate chapter page, maybe on a sub chapters like this one on my sample chapter. I have here chapter 1 and I have a sub chapter assessment 1.1 so just click assessment 1.1 and here position your cursor and click questions okay so under questions tool uh, set this is the title so maybe assessment 1.1 okay then On the responses, uh, you have three options here, e scores only, score and answer report. So, okay, so under questions tab, we have five uh, types of questions. We have true or false, we have multiple questions with single answer, we also have multiple choice with multiple answers we have short answers and drag and drop so short answers and drag and drop it's not available in this free version of got to be author so the only uh, types of questions that is available is the true or false uh, single multiple questions uh, multiple choice single answer multiple choice multiple answers so first let us use the true or false questions type of question so when you're done with the title and the responses so under questions click true or false so maybe I would put here assessment uh, 1.1 true or false and also okay so here you are going to put your questions the true or false questions okay so just a sample Okay, this would be your question and here you're going to set that correct answer whether true or false okay so let's say for example the the answer for question number one is true so set it to true okay then if you want to add image you can still add the image and here wait uh, the score weight so just leave it one one point for this question next let's add another true or false question click again here and your question and set it the false okay and this is another question true or false and set your answers okay so after that uh, you can go to options options tab then under options tab these are the preferences for the question true or false so uh, there were a few settings that we need to configure like this one numbering so numbering choose whether to order the questions with the numbers or not so okay or if not rumble okay then number of questions so how many number of questions we have three number of questions okay so passing score so it depends on the teacher so since we have three items maybe two 
2 is the passing score and total score since you have 3 questions total score is 3 okay so remember this one number of questions 3 because I have 3 questions total score 3 is because every question is 1 point why 1 point base here okay so you have to remember number of questions and total score then I think that would be uh, the basic settings that you need to set for true or false question so when you're done with the questions and set the correct answers click create okay okay so if you want to edit your uh, questions just click edit button here and you can customize the question you want to change or edit okay so okay so preview to check this one so let's try to answer now true 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 and submit answers so as you can see fail fail because the passing score is 2 and the, my score is 1 over 3 so you get 1 questions out of 3 correct okay so okay clear answers so again let's try true false true so pass pass because my score is 2 and the passing score is 2 over 3 okay so let us check let us check it on the mobile so galaxy s6 rotate device okay so this time click here Okay, assessment. Okay. So, true, false, false. Okay, so pass your score is 3 over 3. You got 3 questions out of 3. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's how to create a true or false question okay next uh, let's delete this one so let's try another type of questions so assessment 1.1 and uh, multiple choice with single answer this one so click so here you're going to put your question and this would be your choices so then at this point at this side then at this side you're going to set the correct answers so check here okay so if you want to add an extra choice click add extra choice okay if you want to remove the one of the choices just click this minus sign button here to delete okay so let's add another multiple uh, choice question with single answer this one click and scroll down then type your question 
your choices and set your answer okay so before you create your question see to it to go to options tab and check the numbering and of course how many questions I have two questions passing score is one total number of score is two okay so I guess that would be the the basic settings that we need to set for uh, the questions so create okay so preview so let us answer uh, this one this one okay so I got zero fail so let's try to correct answers okay submit answers okay okay so exit preview let us check on the mobile okay function okay so that's how to create a multiple choice question with single answer okay let's delete now let's try the multiple uh, multiple choice question with multiple answers so again position your cursor and then click uh, question and then of course uh, put your title here scores only okay and then click uh, multiple choice questions with multiple answers so here type your question and then your choices Okay, so for the choices, you have four options, and you're going to set the correct answers. So let's say there are two correct answers on this question. It's uh, the first choice and the last choice. Okay, and then don't forget to proceed to options tab. Okay. Uh, let's add another question scroll down your second question then your choices then okay so go to options okay so how many number of questions i have two passing score is one and the total score is two so i guess that would be the basic settings for the multiple questions with multiple answers so when you're done with that click create okay so let's try preview uh, here 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 and here submit answers okay your score is 2 over 2 okay let's try this okay still your score is 1 over 2 okay so let us check on the mobile click here chapter 1 sub chapter assessment okay let's check so okay so that's how to to create a multiple 
choice question with multiple answers okay next so let us uh, try to save our work so this is how to save your work so just click file and then save us and then of course you're going to choose the uh, directory and the file name so, so cool so cookery nc2 okay and then save okay so let us try to open the ebook on the student side so open your Kotobi reader okay so this is now the Kotobi reader app so to open your uh, ebook click here and then find the directory that was on pictures cookery and I think this one NC2 okay so that's how to open your ebook using Kotobi reader application on the student side thank you okay so that's the basic operation of Kotobi author and reader application so if you have uh, questions just feel free to comment down below thank you and good day okay.